Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues in which we're playing as Twin Mothers. So right now we have a special event, Raiders on the Horizon. Recently a shaman has reached out to me with dire words of warning. Raiders, unlike those of Scorpion's Bites or the Daughters of Hecate, march closer to the lands of the tribe. They are known slavers, of people bathed in cruelty and malice. Could these be the same people that hurt poor Hecate's tribe? At least it's something new. I was growing bored. And we do, or must, select some new research to do. Industry, we got a couple comments to go through. Let's grab some local workspaces because we're going to really need to pump up those robot numbers, if you know what I mean. Woof. But right now, we are trying to make the repository, or, you know, do the second secondary wing of the factories that DNA database it uses to manufacture the numerous biological components needed to provide for the nursery. Expanding further and allowing for tertiary wings dedicated to new samples as well as active research could open new avenues of research of into waste, fauna, and flora. I think I read that yesterday, but I don't remember what it said so i wanted to reread it on a speaker war, war support could get, technically gives you more defense which would be nice but mm, we'll see what happens Ooh, an operative brain zgo mad bomber is that ted hmm ted k cool and we have this, and meeting a legend, eventually. I invited the leader of these raiders, Sir Lanius, to meet with me deep within Vault 29. My robotic guardians escorted him and his cohorts to the vault, and we had a conversation. For one thing, I want the focus to go by... Happy 2276, by the way. There we go. Speaking with someone who viewed me with such equality was a strange sensation. I haven't spoken with someone like this since I had spoken with Hecate, Reese, or that prisoner from Tibbet's prison a few decades ago. Our tech was enjoyable. I got to pick through Lanius's head a bit, although he's a kind of voice and sort that seems driven. The winds of change follow the path he walks. I don't know if I will be able to keep him from attacking my children with gifts alone. From here, my children's survival will depend on how I will proceed. I could try to shield my children and tell my shamans to give in to their demands, just as I had the scorpion's bites for decades. I could tell them, or tell our shamans, to ready for the tribe for war, to try to defend the valley and ensure that the others could never steal from our lands again, or... If I was to do that, I could simply try to emulate what Lanius has done here, embolden my children's spirit, and work with the bull, rather than against them. And hey look, the thumbnail background for this campaign. Really awesome. I always enjoyed a new face to speak with. Cool. Which that is completed. Now, I didn't ask, I forget if I asked you guys this yesterday, but you guys already gave me your opinions whether we should do the Goddess of War, upholding our ideals, or tribute for independence. And actually, there's equal support support, almost equal support, for the which way we want to go. Now, there was basically no support at the time of this recording for Tribute for Independence, so we have to choose between the Goddess of War or Upholding Our Ideals. Now, that being said, we also had some other choices and comments from yesterday saying whether we should do Old World Wildlife or New World Fauna, which I'm going to talk about both now. So, ooh, uh, Goddess of War, Exemption from Rejection, Horned Advisors for the Tribe, Simulation Training, Automata Hastati. Someone recommended I go down the Goddess of Warpath and then eventually betray Lanius, or the Legion just in general. So, the Cult of Diana sounds really cool. Tabula Rasa, a gift from the Goddess, suit from a bygone age. Or we could do Upholding Our Ideals. So, overall, the choice for this campaign, which I will play as Twin Mothers at least twice, <clears throat> maybe thrice, depending on what happens. We will go with upholding our ideals just because I want to see what happens. So, no, I will never bow down to Lanius. He will burn for what he dare inflict upon his citizens. Slavery, torture, families broken, and bonds destroyed in the fire of a treacherous empire, seeking power above all. They dare call us prolificates? The only prolificates I see are them. And the very reason the nursery was created in the first place. Prepare our troops. Prepare the factory. We will never yield to the legion. Which we actually go to waste on economy and get more war support. That'll be very good. Very, very, very good. Because right now we're peaceful and prosperous. Which really hurts us. Well, actually, well, yeah, that one. But other stuff too. Automated warfare, because we want to try to use robots, tar human targeting firmware. More organization would be very nice. We are slowly running out of manpower, so that's why we want to use robots, because robots don't use that much manpower. 30 for the droids of Diana. The Wasteland Amazons take 225. So, and the Goddesses Reach take 30 as well. That ain't bad. That really ain't bad. Texan Brotherhood declared war on the Carthaginian gang. Not even a tribe, they're just a gang. Awesome. I hope we made the right choice. I really, really do. Just in case, I know it's just Lannis that's going to go to war with us. Hopefully not the entire Legion. So if I call you guys back, and you guys set up shop right there, you might do okay. Akisha Moon. Ooh, Lannis attack. 
Deficient Recon, Bonus Man, Entrench, Gun Nut. I think I'm going to go with Gun Nut. I want to make sure that guys are as strong as possible. Cool. Actually, do you guys have Recon on yourselves? And we're going with Refined Warfare, so we don't get any extra Recon anyway. So Recon Bonus would not be very good. 8% more attack. Nerd Rage. Mm. No, I'll, I'll do Sniper. I might throw on Recon eventually anyways. Let's get as much attack as possible. Why not? We'll see what happens. And help out these guys. We want more multi-population. We want more civilian factories. We gotta get as much as we possibly can, man. I don't think it's gonna be easy. Hopefully they don't want to have any anti-tank in these guys. They do have some armor, which would not be good for us to kill off. But for the love of God, please don't have anti-tank. If they don't have anti-tank, we could probably win. And then again, once they beat up enough robots, we're kind of not going to be in a good position. Hmm. Not bueno. Eh, drastic measures. We probably don't need to do that. We probably don't need to do procurement of things. We're even out of infantry equipment right now, too. In which we are trying to get some gliders and payload bombers. And get some of this stuff as well. And then we got some crowd control. Oh, my goodness. We are lacking so much right now. Oh, my goodness. Outside of battalions already, which is nice. Chief of the Navy, that's not bad. I would do this one for Flyboy, but we just don't have factories on our guys anyway, so it doesn't even make any sense why we would do that. We only have three military factories, which is god-awful. I know, it's just terrible. This is all... I'm so used to, like, really short focuses, so 45 days now? Seems like a long time. Encrypt valuable vault information. Defense against country for 120 days. They probably go to war with us immediately. Convert all of our workshops into Twin Mother's state into off-site buildings. We have the tribe help move our industry and valuables to the nursery for safekeeping. We move half the resources into a mother's state to paradise. That's actually really cool. Ooh, they're not at war with us yet. Ooh, we do get more manpower that way. That's really nice. Massively fortify the state. We probably want to go rush that as fast as possible. So the Legion's rejection of technology shall be their downfall. Their utter, their utter lack of any communication or interception technology means that we can very simply encrypt our own communications, always staying five steps ahead of their even scouting parties. We will truly be unpredictable to them, and they will never expect our ambushes or tactics. 45 days. Oh my goodness. And they're probably going to go to war with us, maybe? This is the only way in, right? I mean, yeah, the Legion has access to the Navajo Nation. But... Ooh. Hey, there's Daughters of Hecate up there, too. Oh, I just realized. Oh, 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 what was that we just saw? Daughters of Hecate. Secrets of the Nursery. Ah, oh, they got plus 20%. They don't like us, though. Cool. Oh, and they're fighting the Dry Blowers. Gehenna Siege Beasts. I need to play as this group, too. Ooh. Colorado Mutant Support. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Alright, Lanius, what are you gonna do? Come on. Oh, well, don't come on, but you know what, whatever. What's an economy? Go to well equipped army. Ooh, we get more consumer goods, we get more stuff, good. Cool. Train if you need to, but man, that manpower not looking good. And we're still making more than enough money. The Siege of Hidden Valley, goodbye, Mojave Chapter, goodbye. Not good. Not good. Combat robots are actually doing quite a bit better. They only make 0.2 instead of 0.3 from the support robots, which is which makes sense because it takes a lot more production. Last time I remember from these guys, so. Uh, production cost 16 versus production cost of 22. Actually, that's not as radical as I thought it was, but stonks. We aren't quite sure what an index fund is, or even if they exist. Against advice from our esteemed advisor Jeremy, this investment has gone or done great in growing the wealth of our nation. Bull or maybe bear? Great. Oh, they went to war with... Summer's Federation. I am so ready to go to war with them right now. It's not even funny. They decided to go down there, though. Desperados were annexed by the Texas Brotherhood. Cool. Alamo Chapter, the Pursuant. I mean, technically, we can justify against them, but I don't think so. I really, really, really don't think so. Military sending bonuses. Weekly manpower. That's I like that. I like the weekly more manpower, but that's not... That's honestly not very much. Entice Chop Shop Expansion. Actually, do we have any things down here? Organizational Marketplace? Not yet. Look at Twin Mothers. New Canaan. Can we send a route? Yes, we can. Good. I want to make sure we do that before we cannot do that so we can get more money this way. Military signing. Hmm. 
encrypt valuable information just in case because I really want to massively fortify this place. The followers of the apocalypse, while strictly nonviolent, cannot simply simply sit idly by as Elinius threatens our way of life and our mission to return to the waste to its lush glory. Already they sent engineers and doctors, caretakers and workers to fortify the state against the Legion hordes and free up part of our population from their usual duties to join the fight. Manpower. Follow the apocalypse will hear our plight and are eager to help protect our way of life. They begin an effort to help defend our valley against these aggressors. Massively fortify the state. Yes. I think I might just save up and invest stimulus in twin mothers. I think that might be best to do. Now, that's a hard peace conference to do. Holy cow. And the Crusher's army was annexed. Cool. Just because... Why not? More development sounds really good to me. What is our development level here? Uh, it's not bad, actually. How does this... Does this increase every month? Measured by state development and economic node. Is weighted average of factories, dockyards, infrastructure, river access between a center state and its member states. Oh, so we just build ourselves up some more, then we'll, it'll, it'll increase. Cool. Which, we're doing the fields for right now. Explosive proficiency. Ooh, defense. Ooh, and then we've got to go through a couple more things as well. Let's see. Cap, retention, output. Oh, I want more output. 10% more soft attack for infantry. Not bad. The scavenging efforts, though. Cool. Also, let's see, decode signals. Cool. Let's grab some encryption. Uh, there was a comment saying, like, what are cybernetics? Yeah, let's go back over here. Actually, we could do the opposite of wasteland information. Uh, that's kind of okay. Wasteland information is not bad. There was a better term that some of you guys came up with, though. Which, I don't mind doing this first, then. Uh, actually, oops, maybe we shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Because, actually... Offices of Wasteland Information. Some of you guys suggested some good names. I do like the Agents of Gaia or Eyes of Diana. Let's go Agents of Gaia. Just... Uh, I like that one a lot, but how about this one? Eyes of Diana. Just in case. Just in case. I like both. It's just we had to, we are forced to choose one, so... If your choice wasn't chosen, I apologize. It is what it is. Cool. Up next. Ooh, oh, can we actually raise our conscription level? We can. We lose some construction speed, but that's okay. You know, let's just do that now, just in case, for the future. Followers influence, of course. Encrypted information. Even though they're not at warless yet, they will eventually go to warless, probably. So. So, cybernetics. So, this is what it is. So, it's like, give militia implants. Okay. Give infantry implants. Looking nice. A little more supplies, more organization. This one has kill switches, division organization, but less recruitable population factor. Cool. This one is give special forces implants, give power armor implants, even though they take more... Hmm. That doesn't seem very beneficial if they take more, um, more supply. Give vehicle cruise implants. I'll get more organization that way. Let's see. Cybernet cybernetic implants. We need implant technology to actually do this, of course, though. So. And neural interfaces, kill switches... Of course, signal trans, signal transitions, safety regulations, regulation override. So I don't know. There's just a bunch of implants that you can get, like in New Vegas, to increase your special. I don't think you can do that indefinitely. And then your dangerous implants. Should we? Oh boy. Daily political power gain goes down in less stability. And cybernetic war form. Huh. Looks like a division. It's a Gary division, maybe. Cool. Fight for peace. We get war support stability, division tech and defense support territory. You know, I just want to rush down this path as fast as possible, so. We cannot ever let Linus touch a single piece of pre-war technology lest he destroys precious material cap capital to the terraforming and healing of the wasteland. While harsh, we must ask of the tribe that they help us move all the resources and machinery on their territory to paradise for safekeeping if the worst ever was to happen. Just in case. Now, how do we fortify the state? We have the fields, of course. It was it just twin mothers? Oh, we got some outposts here. Yeah, I see these little outposts. Oh, look at that. Little dots. Level two dots. Form department, cool. The art of haggling, cool. And just in case, I guess we can do these guys. Any the even these guys didn't get it, but you have no forts there, okay. But you have forts and twin mothers. Which makes sense. Now, this is level two. Maybe I should have made some forts first, but whatever. Stonks again. Okay, cool. We making we making a lot of bank. Encoded signals, nice. That one, that's a little bit ahead of time. Industry, can't really do that ahead of time. We'll do plant cultivation because we can, why not? Build, 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 build. 
Oof. Anything else here? Still have that. Of course, we were just there. Well, we're getting more of this. That's good. Doing better on this stuff, but obviously it's not great. Oh, I want to make more stuff. If we can only make one, so be it. That didn't help out that much, though, for support robots. Invest. Entice Chop Chop Expansion. Chop Chopper's vehicles. I don't think we're really using vehicles, though, so... I don't think that'd be very useful. We can still get them over here if we really wanted them to. Let's grab some dynamic tactics integration, though. More defense and speed? Not bad, not bad. I haven't done this one yet, so let's invest stimulus in Twin Mothers. Nice, cool. And we can promote them. Level 4, great! Ah, look at that. We're getting bigger, stronger, better. More handsome. Well, maybe. Since we got the political power, can we get a field marshal? Or just get Ruth to be field marshal? Yeah, Ruth, you're already here. Alright. Gunslinger, ninja, anything else interesting here? We could do cunning leader, less planning, speed, more max planning. Nimble, nah, we good about that. Flexible, rot purges are gone, planning speed, max planning. Plan uh, division recovery rate would not be bad. Defense, let's go for more defense first for now. I think that'd be okay. And smooth talker. Ruth is a smooth talker. Hmm. Assistance from Hecate. Many of her children that have joined Hecate's rank to train under her in the matter of warfare have heard, her, heard our plight and decided to come back home to help defend us against the coming war. They bring with them experienced troops, weaponry, and their own military expertise. We shall welcome them with open arms in this time of strife. A few former Twin Mothers tribals who joined or trained under Hecate returned to our land to defend against the Legion. They also bring with them a collection of guns for our girls to use. We have five elite divisions and 1,500 units of Twin Mother infantry equipment is added to the national stockpile. Cool. We'll actually have a surplus of that, which is not bad. Actually, you guys are 18 combo with. I'm just going to make you guys 20 combo with. It's going to hurt ourselves just a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind doing that. Do we have anything here we can throw on? Chems? I'm a little worried about these guys, so chems might be worth it. We would have enough, of course. Yeah, let's do that. Do we have recon? Recon could be pretty well worth it as well. Go and do that too. Demo teams? We don't have enough army XP, of course. Are we making demo equipment? No, we're not. I don't want to really train the robots just because that could really hurt their supplies. Ooh, inspirational, yeah. That'd be good. Local leader's pretty good as well. I like animal friend, but attrition? Meh, it's okay. Anything else here? This is small businesses in the society. No, no, no. You know, just in case. I like the building slot. Just 10. Why not? Over here, caravan trader, economy, economy, outpost, radar station stuff, military factory construction speed, chop shop, opinion, gun runner, gun runner, info. This is not very much. We could do that, but mm. honest speaker. I like the war support. Just five war goal sounds gets lower, and we get ten percent more war support. I like the non core manpower too, but just do warmonger, plant cultivation, because we already have minus fifty percent. Justify Wargle's times already because of one of our national spirits. Vacuum tubes. We get some motorized flight because we can. Why not? Why not? Then we'll maybe do some more infantry stuff too. We currently get almost roughly two political power a day. God dang. Infrastructure. I like the infrastructure stuff. Stability's okay. Oh, wow. Docks medical equipment? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Robots, that's not worth it. With less 10% less defense, I don't like that one. Eh, lock and load. Nah. Freeman's fixture, scavenging efforts, cool. Yeah, do that one. We'll build up infrastructure anyways, right? Okay, cool. And soft attack. Oh, more daily compliance. Soft occupation. Daily political power gain. Yeah, let's integrated tribe elders. Why not? That would be terrible if I didn't get that one. Cool. And we fight for peace eventually, so we can do that eventually once we go to war with them. Alright, so now we can focus on other stuff. Let's go rumble in the jungle. The corrupted Gek has massively upset the ecological balance of the nursery. If we are to restore order, we must make a choice and do it fast. Shall we preserve the legacy of the old world or take on the opportunity that Reese has given us? And another division immediately. Oh my goodness, the elite divisions are here. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of ready for Atlantis to go to war. That's 20... Oh, hold on! That actually gave us divisions that we already made, basically. The daughters, or maybe that they were just like that by themselves. No, that's that's by themselves. So, okay then. 
Not bad. I like these daughters. Mmm. Support equipment. Let's see anything else here. Doggos. Get some doggos, but... Oh, that's still ahead of time. Are you kidding me, man? Get more defense. We're going to need it anyways. Doesn't matter. Just, just grab it. We're ready. Well, we're kind of ready. What is that doing? No. How's it developing? Eh, it's doing pretty well, actually. 33.7 is kind of a thunderstorm going on there right now, but that's okay. Not bad. How's the uh, factories coming along? Uh, I'm honestly kind of ready for these guys to go to war with us. They're doing Fort Summers, but they're slowly taking quite a while, actually. Who's... What the fuck is that? Archdiocese of Santa Fe. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. We could increase the research speed. Hmm. No, we kind of okay for now. We're still getting more army XP. That's nice. You guys looking good? Are we out of our deficit yet? No, we can't even make this. What the heck? What happened to our. Oh. That's right, we sent half of our factories that way. Well, god dang it. Hmm. I sent them away just in case, but. Now we can't even make goddamn robots. You know what? We can always buy more of this. At least make support robots, because if we go to war, and we ain't got any robots, we kind of screw. I do kind of wish, though, you could... You don't have to... I don't think it's possible to take that one factory off. Yeah, you can't do that. I wish you could be able to do that. So this way you won't lose too much production, you know, growth, and just production efficiency. Like, you just take it off so you can put it in a factory for something else. I think that'd be kind of cool, but I don't know why you can't do that yet. So that way, efficiency could drop a little bit or decay, but that's just me. That's just me, maybe. Oh, we did mobilize a little bit more, that's why. Ooh, sur white sand survival training? Yeah, I mean, at this point, we might as well, right? So, ecological imbalance. Maybe that? No, yeah, there we go. So, the nursery's gardens had been suffering an amount, amount, suffering an amount of ecological imbalance ever since the Miles Reese charmed his way into the nursery, only to steal a geck from us and wreak havoc across the wasteland. As of late, botanical creatures and other monstrosities from Reese's geck threatened to upend the gardens from the pre-war wildlife living here. We have a choice to make on if we want to try to tame the plants living here or give the native creatures a helping hand so that they may bring back life intended order of this place. The intended order of the place. It's important that these animals have a place to live. These new world plants might help our tribe survive through, through, or though. So, because we chose this path, which I talked about earlier, upholding our deals, that's the more traditional way, the old way. The goddess of war seems a little bit not traditional. So, I want to go with more of the traditional way for this time, so we will also go the old world wildlife. That being said, though, the next time I play as Diana, remind me, put in the comments when I play as them, that we'll either do Goddess of War or Tribute for Independence. We'll probably do Goddess of War. But if we do Goddess of War, well, please remind me that we need to do New World Fauna as well. Hold me to it. Hold me to it. Stability. Avian Preservation. Strength of the Wild. That's technology. That looks really cool. Powering Production. More Computational Power. I kind of want to go to war, but I'm worried that Lanius will go to war with us. But we can't do anything until he fights us. Maybe we should just fight against someone else and see what happens. That actually might be a good idea. The Simian Preservation? The hideous fauna created by Reese's creation kit threatens even the most Simian Preservation section of the nursery to an extent we cannot tolerate. Our robotics divisions will relentlessly hunt down and incinerate any traces of those biological abominations ever existed, and then resettle said Simian into the habitats for study once again. Cool. So, the only way we can really go to war is pretty much through the Circle Junction. Do we have a war goal possibly against them eventually? Circle. Oh, it's down here. So, has completed focus, strength, and defeat. Or... All the following must be true. Ooh. Focus will require... Things are not found. We also have a national education program. Own Circle Junction. And... Oh, the Iron... Iron Rivers. All core lands of Circle Junction is owned by Twin Mothers. Okay. Has completed the focus, strength, and defeat. Oops. Must be true. Is owned by them. So it doesn't look like... Well, technically, every county in Western Colorado gains a guarantee by Twin Mothers, enters a truce. If we do that way, we might just go ahead and justify on them. Because even though they are probably not super weak, it's probably worth going to war with eventually. And it's going to take plenty of time to go to war with them anyways. Biplane fighters, bomb gliders... Let's get some triplane attackers. You might as well, right? Even though we can't even use them. Kind of sucks. Well, minus 100. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Where is that from? Did we actually pop out of the division? I don't think we did. 
Oh my goodness, so terrible. Oh, come on, Lanius. You wanted to kill me, didn't you? I'm ready. I'm ready for you to go one, two, buckle my shoe. If that's the case, go ahead and do boom, boom, just in case. Just some easy level fort stuff that we could do probably pretty quickly. Texas Brotherhood. Oh, looking kind of thick. How, many, how much political power do we get now? Still roughly less than two, that's fine. But once we get the uh, other one done, that would be nice. Integrated tribal elders, or tribe elders. Yeah, that is not looking ideal, man. I swear to God, why? Maybe I was a little bit too rash. This is on a historical, so maybe they weren't ready to go to war with us until they really felt like it. So that's probably what I'm going to be assuming here. But Simeon Preservation? Cool. Strength of the Wild. Advanced cloning research. Seems really awesome. I do want to continue going down this way, but... Assess the tribe? Ooh, more development to Twin Mothers. Am Voice on Amazons. Ooh. Land Doctrine? One thing of Gecko DNA. Settler Infantry Tech. Healthy Warriors. Connecting the tribes. Road Building. Taos Ruins. <sighs> Threats from the Wasteland. Scourge of the Old World. Game over. Continue. The Forbidden Lands. Our biggest mistake. Last days of an old friend. Ay ay ay. Wait, threats from the wasteland. We have to complete this stuff to get this one done. Building a society. We live in a society. I want to finish this stuff first, and then maybe we'll do a paintbrush for stuff. Avian preservation. Particular care must be taken in preserving the fragile avian ecosystem of the nursery. Threatened by the aggressive new flora created by the corruption. Cleansing any traces of it inside the nursery should be enough to ensure there is their survival and set us back on our path to study into their physiology cool diana 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 yeah i guess she gets more division defense on court territory and more compliance so it's just probably best to go to war so i'm glad we already started justifying on these guys how strong are these guys if we send our robots the little that we have oh they have like no manpower 68 divisions they do have a little bit of riders i never tried oh these guys do you have any piercing you have enough to pierce those guys which is not bad i kind of like that Oh, come on, Lanius. Why did you not want to go to war with me? Do you not like me? Am I not woman enough for you to take me out? Like, to lunch or dinner? But, whatever. But dynamic t tactics integration. Quantity? You get more defense. Did they rework this maybe a little bit? Less cell usage, more output. Not bad. And even less, more cell usage, and then more defense and factory output or quality. Less supply usage, less cell usage. More breakthrough, soft attack, and hard attack. And hardness and armor. Let's go with quality. Field maintenance. Even though the other one's pretty good, and we could probably really, really use now more output. I think just more quality be very bueno. Mm, fuel boy, huh? Mercenary training instructors? I mean, this barely helps us out, but you know, I'll take it. I will gladly take it. Happy 2277, though, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. What is Lanius up to? I've, I've yet to play as them at the time of this recording. The Ways of the Legion. IED training. Well, that sounds kind of explosive. The what, Victory at the Rock. Hey, there you go. Now we get 0 .22, 2.21 political power every day. Wow. Bomb every vulnerability. Infantry recovery rate. Wait, so we can we can research... Wait, I can research this? And, and, mm, I can research this. Military march before I can do IED training. Okay. Air attack. Resistance growth in our states. Command power increase. Daily command power multiplier gain. Holy crud. Recon? Your army gets more recon. Holy. Mm. Attrition, heart attack, piercing, reinforce rate, cap, retention, growth, stuff like good stuff like that. Rest construction speed, construction speed. Wow. This is nuts. Get some deception tactics. That is really a good path to go down towards, it seems like. There's like almost no drawbacks, it seems like. But after this one, we shall do. Unless we get interrupted for some reason. Strength of the Wild. Our continuous analysis of pre-war DNA sequences and its possible applications in genetical manipulations have led us to an extremely interesting breakthrough. It seems like the sequence of the common wasteland dog is so close to the pre-war tiger to allow splicing. If done, this would make them considerably more effective in combat, so maybe we should get some dogs next. That sounds like probably a pretty good idea to do. Wasteland dog goes with Diana? I think so. Or release the hounds. Okay, that's done soon. Come on. And... Oh, a little bit of lag. What's going on? Oh, quite a bit of lag. Wow. Oh, there's militia training. Look at that one first. More defense is always good. Command bow. 
Let's go and get the advanced recurve bow. So this way our infantry are still pretty decent. There we go. 45 out of 45. Strength of the wild. Or a bottle to clear one equal rock. Oh wow. Oh, wait. What happened to Uinta or Yinta? Uinta's different. Huh. <clears throat> Every time I play this, I learn something new. Has a claim on Nine Mile Ranch. Ram Ranch, huh? That is definitely looking better. Command robots, heavy robots, not looking bad. Actually, I should probably... I should probably research more about our robots. Actually, like, do, like, research in the game. Because I've completely ignored them. I forgot about them. Probably not a good thing to do. We have 11 factories, not bad. Currently get 9 people a month, not bad. Followers demand reduced conscription. Are you kidding me? Did you not see what's going on over in the executive's area? Are y'all crazy? Crazy. Oh, we're still repairing ourselves here, that's fine. Convoys are fine. Just a bunch of nutters. Nuts. And how much longer actually do we have to wait before we go to war? Entry guns. Mm. Mm. I do want to invest more to them. How much longer must we wait? Oof, we still got over 100 days, that sucks. Keep doing this, veteran and veteran training instructors, because, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, totally go ahead. We still get over two political power a day, that is so nice. Alright, oh, Scorpion's by still there. What is Lanius up to still? Well, that's very fitting, Trouble Warfare. Alright, he's got plenty of manpower, wow. I'm not gonna lie. That's a lot of divisions, especially compared to what we have. Holy cow. We have 16, which is not bad, don't get me wrong, but that's a lot of divisions. Oof. That is a packet. I think it's just best if I convert you to the other divisions. I don't want to lower your veteran. Uh, I don't want to hurt that, though. I really don't. How much money do we have? 203. We get 42 per quarter, which is not bad. I want to invest more stimulus, though. Hey, there we go. Nice. What? I, ooh, Call of the Wild. Cool. I'm probably... Let's go ahead and do... For a year? Con oh, 20% more construction speed? Invest in small business? Let's go and do that. I want more output and more construction spending. Or speed, actually. So we can get at least this thing done. I keep clicking the wrong button. That'd be nice. So, I want to see what happens with this one. Oh, we can't do that one? One sample Jurassic DNA. Oh, god dang it. Mm. Power and production. Power to fill has at least a minus 20 quarrying cost reduction modifier. Power needs fulfilled. Wow. A paintbrush for the wastes. Let's go and do that one. Sadly, it seems that the GAC manufacturing line has fallen into a state of disrepair. Some of its capabilities, such as the adaptational enhancement matrix, could, however, be brought back online in each device with proper care. But unfortunately, the damage has been done, and the exact function will become utterly random. Utterly. Casing. Nursery radar improvements. We need long-range radio for that. We need, we need more research for this stuff. I don't mind doing space surveys. Defun defending the command station. Ultra planet attackers, even though we can't even use them at all. Land doctrine, we're doing a specialized doctrine. Not bad. Nothing we can really do there, though. Some doggos. Seems like we might have some way with them. You know what? Mm -hmm. I want as much of this as possible. We only get 26 next month, but that's fine. I said April before April 22nd. Eh, that didn't really help all that much. I just want to build. Build. Build as much as we possibly can right now. Because that's all we can really do. But what is going on? Oh, oh yeah. Those guys. Oh, those folks down there just causing problems with the followers. You can up there. Still making a lot of money. That's good. Just want to go to war. Lanius. You can probably smash through my infantry, but my robots probably not. Oh my goodness. And he is struggling. Can I send... Actually, I can't send volunteers. That sucks. Right, left. Tar walkers. Cool. A paintbrush for the wastes. Can I get rid of you yet? No. That's okay. After that, mass relay grass extender. Modified coring dice. We need gene crops. Plant cultivation. Uh, new casings. We can't do that one either. We need fuel refinement. Power and production. Power of the earth. Ooh. Gain a permanent 8% reduction in coring costs. How's the wind? Hmm. 
Well, let's come over here and instead do the matters of Zax-29. Zax-29, the central computer in charge of Vault-29, is a powerful pre-war mainframe that was tasked with taking care of its denizens, and then was transferred to serve as a link to the Twin Mother's tribe under Diana's guidance. The time has now come to decide what will become of it. Ooh, yeah, hopefully we get some cool decision here. And yeah, we should be able to do this any day now. Maybe not. Yeah, I've still got three days left. That's fine. And then we'll have some more research done. There's actually... Oh. The Battle for Hoover Dam. Uh, hopefully we can see that. That'd be kind of cool. Boom. Okay. Immediately. Oh, we can't see that. I wonder who's going to win, actually. Weather monitoring station, huh? Camp McCarran. I remember that. Hey, we're doing better on here. Point three better than point two every day, I'd swear. Oof. That... It's not a lot more manpower, though. Hmm. Military Academy training officers? Sure. Why not? Come on. Cool. And how's this coming along? Hey, we actually built the civilian factories. Wow, we actually did. Deception tactics. Keep building up here. Keep building. It's going to take even longer, but we got to get to 15 out of 15 eventually once, right? Output, retention. I want more construction speed. Communal projects. You have to go to that way first. So we're going to always leave one research slot on doing stuff like that there. That being said, actually, you know what, with you guys. Hmm, that's the only way open here. We're going to go one, two, three. Defend this area. Let them come in. The old world wall holds. Legion cannot even cross the Colorado. How do they expect to reach Shady Sand if they cannot even take this well fortified entrenched position with a clear field of fire? Ha! Huh. An unstable status quo prevails. Yeah, hmm. I could just try to force my way over the river, though. That's probably the best bet that we have. Now we have no planes. They won't be able to pierce us. We will be able to pierce them. That's the only way we can actually get that done. Advanced recurve bows. Good. Could do that, but we don't even have those yet. Travel scout gets up kind of a waste of time. Robot stuff. More max speed. Why not? Nice. And we'll have some field maintenance done very soon as well. I would at least like to be able to, to go to war with someone by the end of this episode, please. Even though we're trying to be relatively peaceful and we don't want to hurt our ideology and stuff like that. Actually, hold on. If they're not going to move their divisions, breaking over the river might not be a bad thing then. And that's the way we actually go over here. We get access to the foragers and claim jumpers, as well as Verde Mesa or the San Juan Mountains. No. Is that the name of the country? The oh, ciphers, yeah, ciphers. Cool. Field maintenance. Oh, we got just a few weeks left. Good. Let's grab some of the flesh is weak. Oh, it is weak. It is weak. Just ask Lanius. The matter is X29. So, it's, it is our link to the Twin Mothers tribe itself, though through it we were able to link up and establish influence over the tribe, leading it from afar. For a long while, we have merely been controlling Zex-29 from afar, sending them instructions on how to best lead the tribe, however. Now we are approaching the point where we have to question how necessary he is to our rulership. We could try to remove Zack's personality so that it's easier to communicate with the tribe, or we could try to further his personality so that it, can, it is a more efficient steward for the tribe. Let them rule. It's time we take control. Ooh, what is... Oh... Do we do increase autonomy? Reduce autonomy. The tribe steward. More research speed. 15% or assuming direct control. We want more computational power. Research speed. I kind of want to see what happens if we just max out computational power. That seems like a lot of fun. Research speed's okay. We gain that person as an advisor. We're going to lose some stability. We get more war spot, which I'm kind of fine. It's time we take control. Let's see what happens when we do assuming drug control. Zax 29's pre-war mainframe was an impressive display of engineering, but it could be used much more effectively or efficiently. The most reasonable course of action now is to fully wipe out Zax 29 as it has outlived its usefulness and transfer the computing power to Diana. All right, so this is got another focus done immediately, which is pretty good. So then we'll have 42.5% computational strength, which is not bad. Even more political power, max factories, production efficiency, not bad. And then after that, once we can go to war, I'm probably going to try to do this all of this stuff as fast as possible. So that when we do actually are able to core stuff, that would be pretty good for us. A little bit ahead of time. Industry stuff. Yeah, grab some more construction speed. Even though we do need more output, that's okay for now. Construction build, 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 build. We're doing pretty well here, though. August 6th is not bad. 
about to get paid soon. And we're only get paid 24 denarius, but that's okay. Interactions with the followers. Oh, we could get more research speed. Yeah, procurement of things. Send out, yeah, let's have some manual prospectors. Let's see what happens. It doesn't probably cost that much, right? If you dismantle, you get a little more construction speed. That's a little bit more money back, but eh, that's okay. Local leaders, legendary wastelanders. You get less political power, which actually I'm fine with. You get more special forces capacity. Hey, we can actually finally go to war. Finally. Finally. You know what? If they don't want to come to this land, hopefully we can do well. I was just waiting the entire time for the Luggets. Or, not, maybe not the Luggets, but the Lanius to do something here. Come on, go, 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 go. You actually arrived. Good, just don't lose where you have to go. Can they pierce us? No, which is good, good, good. Hopefully this will get us more factories. Finally we're at war. <sighs> Feels good to finally be at war. Just don't lose where it's supply. Oh, crap, they're coming with a lot of guys then. Mm, I don't want to use my infantry because I want to save my manpower. Mm. Here's what we could do. I'm going to take you. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at that. Multivac version 73. Robotics expert, of course. And you go right there. Just in case. And we can take up a lot of beatings and do really well coming through here first. And then just do what we need. There you go. There you go. There you go. One division holding out here. I think they'll be okay. I think we'll definitely be okay with that. Season patriotism? Nah. Extend military research? Would it be bad? That? Not very good. War propaganda? Uh, yeah, that's definitely worth it. Militarized society? No. No. Just invest stimulus? Political bribes? Not bad. Well, we must well do what Legend of Wastelanders. You get only two political power a day, but hey, that's better than nothing. Now we've got to kill off a lot of these guys here. Six divisions. That's quite a few. How many men have we lost? None. Not bad. Assuming drug control, great. And let's go do this. Ooh, mass relay grassland stuff. Or we do power production. And we get air technology. Uh, reduction coring costs, which is not bad. Yeah. Let's go do mass relay grassland extender. Our existing agricultural research could allow us to reactivate the MRGE subroutine of the creation kit. It intends its intended use was to supplement existing food production facilities with grassland prioritization during terraforming procedures. If we are lucky, it will activate and make the region more efficient in its food use, increasing the water reserve as a byproduct. So if we roll a, when we roll a death trying to core stuff, we get 1 to 24 chance, basically, to get plus 1 water. Not bad. Alright, so you guys. Come over here. And as much as I like Helia, we'll probably go back and put her all under her, because she's already level 2 and inspirational, so. And get him in there. There you go, it doesn't really matter. And actually, since we're at war now, it's probably be best... We could probably try to break over. Probably. And start justifying on someone else. Because it could take a long time to do anyways, right? Claim jumpers... Hopefully they don't go to war with anyone. 215 days. We should have the war done. If anything, these guys actually might go to war with us. Please don't tell me you have anti-tank. Oh, crap. They got anti-tank. That is not good. But we have enough division to hold out there, I think. Just in case, let's get that done. Good. Even more. Even more. And can we at least break over and end the episode on a very high note? I don't want to do force attack because I could actually be really kind of better. Ooh, the goddess is influence. How do we do that? We have touched the wastes. Wait, where was that? The goddess's influence. Oh, we're down here. Oh, we've touched the waste. Oh, don't mind if we do. We're struggling, definitely, but that's okay. One more win, maybe. Just don't lose. <laughs> just, just don't lose. You know, just, just don't lose. There you go. You know, support the attack there too, if you like. You guys should be able to win. Should be able to. Let's 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 end on a winning note, right? Let's try to end on a winning note. Caravan guards, pacification. Just core things as fast as possible. Do we have enough infantry equipment for this? We actually do. That's not bad for now. And by doing this, we get more factories. Finally, we are at war. Doing fairly okay. Just don't go that way. Go there. There you go. Come on. You're moving up, which is not bad. 
He's definitely struggling, but that's okay. As long as he can't pierce us, that's what matters. Drop in attackers. Cool. Actually, we, no, we want to use payload, payload gliders, right? Because they have 75 ground attack. And these guys actually, well, they're nowhere near that. Yeah, they have 8. Why would we use them, then? Not bad, not bad. You guys could probably help out. Actually, if you attack that way, you could probably encircle all three of these divisions, actually. Oh, yeah, we actually might win here first. Now, that does open up a can of worms for that area, but that's fine. Just don't lose, please. No, you guys keep them there so they can't move. And we'll be okay. Three divisions go bye-bye. Communal projects, don't mind if we do. And then do some civilian education for even more construction speed, because we need that. Beautiful. Force the attack. Really I crush them as fast as we can now. Master the grass extenders. Cool. And let's go ahead and do... Industrial Hillside Reforesting Network. The IHRN procedure is a general mass eating program, possibly reactivated by our study of wasteland floor to calibrate it with. Intended for use in the center of the nuclear blast to quickly terraform the center of the blast, it makes heavy use of efficient power generation to fuel its operations, which we could recuperate after we use it for our own purposes. Nice. What a boros. Yeah, don't let them in. Do not let them in. Doesn't matter, we got them. We Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Nice. Very good, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Don't need any extra resources. Doing a pretty good job. If you guys get in there quickly, you could, you don't have to worry about that then. Fossils, Marlurks. Gun, go proficient missionaries. I think the, the war is almost over. There you go. And the Old World Blues, we found nothing. God dang it. But that's okay. All right, that should be it, right? Yes, it is. Well, my friends, at least we have gone to war and had a pretty good time. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully go to war again and maybe fight Lanius. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.